Welcome everyone today with uh, my dear friend and business partner, Susanna Orlanik. We're gonna have a nice conversation, free flow on some really important topics today that you're gonna find fascinating and inspiring. Susanna is an advocate for longevity and youthful aging, as well as a mentor for business leaders. I find her to be one of the most loving individuals I've ever met, and she's also brilliant. So thank you, Susanna, for joining this uh, conversation today. Thanks. And thank you for having me again, Amy. I love, I love chatting with you. We've got so many amazing topics today, so we're going to jump right in. One that I, I was blown away last week when I was starting to see some of these visuals that you were sharing. Um, I would love for us to quickly go into, so it, for everyone to know, Susanna is a certified lymphologist. We do a little preference or a preemptive Lymphology 101 for people to understand the role and the importance of our lymphatic system. And that's going to ease into the next topics in anti aging, longevity, as well as people who, this has been a really big topic lately. So thank you for those who are sending the message weight gain, bloating, sluggish lymphatic system. So would you mind giving us a little quick snippet 101 on lymphatic system health? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Because it's one of the most undereducated topics. And it, I strongly believe it needs to be put in the forefront. It's just very much like the gut health topics that are now, you know, talked about today. And now there's more awareness about it. More people are doing more proactive things for themselves, supplementing to make sure they have better gut health. There's studies that gut and brain have a connection. Um, so it's all interrelated. And so now bringing lymphatic health into the fold um, is such an important topic. So thank you for inviting me to talk about that. So the lymphatic system is a critical, plays a critical role in our health, especially our immune health and our ability to be able to detoxify our body. So we are impacted by multiple materials um, toxins um, from the environment, from what we eat, even our stress that we create in our from our mind, our mental stress, it's impacting our body. And it's working really, really hard to help keep it into balance. So the lymphatic system is, there's a network of vessels that run through our body from the crown to our feet. And there's fluid that runs through these vessels. And the vessels are all over, like right underneath the tissue of our muscle, uh, right underneath the skin. And, and it, what it does is if it's collecting these toxins, um, the lymphatic or the immune system kicks in. It holds the toxins in the nodes, lymphatic nodes. The, the immune system kicks in to get rid of it. So there's, it's a symbiotic relationship between our immune system and our lymphatic network. Now, unlike our blood, which requires a pump to circulate through our body, our lymphatic system doesn't have that luxury. Okay, the how it gets pumped through is through how what we do, um, and it's through muscle contraction. So basically, exercising, uh, rebounding, heavy breathing, heavy uh, drinking a lot of liquids, uh, staying fully hydrated. One important aspect is having nutrient. Um, being having the proper nutrients and just, you know, be able to get rid of that fluid that's building up. Um, so that now we can touch a little bit of what causes a sluggish lymphatic. Cause if someone is not aiding their body to have an optimal, uh, sluggish, uh, sorry, and lymphatic health, these are the symptoms that people typically have if they have a sluggish lymphatic system. If they have fatigue, they wake up in the morning and they have stiffness in their joints, uh, muscle and joint pain, holding on to water, so edema in the legs, especially our arms, our stomach, um, bloating and uh, bloating just, you know, during the cycle, women's menstrual cycle, they start to bloat. Um, but then it goes away. But unfortunately, when you're in menopause and postmenopause, you don't have that luxury of your body, you know, getting rid of that bloat. Um, itchy dry skin brain fog headaches weight gain i mean there's <laughs> there's a slew of, of different uh symptoms swollen glands so we have lymph, lymph nodes here swollen glands 
tonsils that are swollen, spleen, all those help to collect bacteria and helps the body to flush it out. Cold hands and feet, chronic colds, sore throats, okay? Ear issues, children that have an ear issue, just drain their lymphatic, it's very simple. Um, cellulite, big time, it's an indicator of um, liquid, liquid lymphatic fluid buildup in the tissue and skin issues. That's just a short list of symptoms, common symptoms of, of a sluggish lymphatic. Let alone what happens if someone really does not take care of the lymphatic system health. We've got lymphedema and lymphoma. There's, um, let me share a graphic really quick. I think this will help put things into perspective. About oh yeah, I really, this really made sense to me when I, when I saw this. I'm glad you're using yeah. that. There's, so what we're looking at is tissue and the cells um, of our tissue. And the role of the cell is to replicate and duplicate itself. And it, our cells require oxygen, it requires nutrients, and, and it plays a role on keeping the tissue healthy. When there's too much fluid or protein fluid in the interstitial part of the cell, so around surrounding the cell, the cells aren't able to do or function. They're not able to breathe. They're not able to pass the nutrients. So then we start to have an inflated tissue or puffiness of the tissue. If left in that, in that state for a long period of time, then the cells start to die off. So imagine being underwater for a long period of time and you can't breathe, you're just gonna die off. Okay, so we call that a wet state. It's just too much fluid. But so we can go from a wet state to back to a dry state where the, where the cells can function properly. I mean, we can go as far as to say if it's left in this state too long, we start having issues, diseases, things that, you know, just chronic issues that we don't want to have, Why right? We don't want that. Um, so we have to go back to where it's a dry state. Now the cells have in them um, a pump. It's called a magnesium potassium pump and it's powered on, or we call it in the science world, ATP, powered up. When it powers up, it's functioning. All right, so um, it's easy to power up the pump through muscle stimulation. That's because the question is, how do I keep it healthy? And you can use uh, muscle stimulation. You can go walking, contract. I mean, do all the things that you can do, which, which we'll discuss. We can massage it, do a lymphatic massage to keep the cells in a dry state. Now, when someone gets injured, uh, the tissue starts to swell up. But there's an indicator of what's happening with these proteins. Like the it, the body is trying to heal itself, but it's putting on it um, all the, you know, it's throwing stem cells and all these things to help the healing process. But why a person feels body discomfort is that there's too much fluid in that area. Now, someone <clears throat> who can take a device like the device we're talking about and just run it through and power up the cells and move that fluid from the tissue back to a healthier state, they start to feel relief almost within minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's why when people, you know, we run it through their different parts of their body where they feel discomfort and within minutes they're feeling, wow, I feel better. Why is that, you know, all we're doing is helping the tissue go from a wet state to a, a dry state and the body responds immediately. And it is immediate. Um, you used it on yourself and had a lot of relief and results, and I have too. For pain, inflammation, both of us have that up here from being, you know, just athletic people, from looking down at our, you know, bones or hunching over our laptops. A lot of people have that same puffy back here, shoulders, neck. They have that inflammation, the pain, and it does actually look puffy. Like I did one on my brother, quick treatment, and one side was up, the one treated was down, lopsided. And it was immediate, oh, I feel so much better. And I know I have, and you do too, being able to just immediately get that relief for the body. And it, if it feels like you just got a massage, you feel so good. It does, it's so, yeah, there's, we hold the weight of the world on our shoulders. And so if we're um, on the computers a lot or we're doing tech neck, looking down at our cell phones all the time, we're straining those muscles. 
and we're yeah. and the muscles are trying to overwork to in order to keep our balance and so we have muscle contracting already we have muscle spasms not contraction muscle spasms and so um so when spasm they're tight so we take something like that device which has uh, sensors in it, which will ha has a microelectrical current, and it's adapting the current based on the measure of what it's reading on your muscle. So it helps in the muscle relax. It causes uh, circulation, so you're getting more blood flow to the tissue. It's letting go or helping to release that the fluid that's building up, and so the body starts to go, ah, thank you. <laughs> it's so it's shooting like dopamine, you know, your body's getting dopamine hits because your body's relaxing. It's almost feeling like you had like a spa on your, you know, massage on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's one of the benefits, a general feeling of well-being. You just, you do. Everything just feels like it's working better together. And I've seen some pretty stunning before and after pictures, even after a first treatment for fluid retention and buildup, like we've seen edema. Um, uh, we've seen some people that have completely smoothed out their cellulite, so you know that's what it's doing, right? Also, some people, and I want to talk to you about this, that have completely reduced in size, like shrunk. <laughs> um, there's, uh, I've seen some pictures, and I, I will tell you as a testimony for myself, Susanna, I had a misconception and I think a lot of people might have this, which is when I looked in the mirror, and this is before I dropped 25 pounds really quickly, I was looking at myself and like, oh, nope, don't want to see that anymore. I felt puffy and I thought it was all fat and I'm a really active person and I dropped weight really quickly, but I, 25 pounds, but my, my sizes of clothes dropped by, like my body just got really tight and smooth immediately. And I'm like, what is going on here? And I realized it was maybe some fat, but it was mostly all the toxins and fluid buildup that I had going on in my mid section, which is a lot of women at my age, late forties, perimenopausal, starting to move into that, you know, early stages before menopause, we do take, we, we gather a lot of fluids in the breast area, which is a high concentration for lymph nodes right here, the upper thoracic that are getting stuck and blocked also in you know the whole midsection and so when i shrunk i was like wow and i really was aggressive with this device microcurrent device i was pretty religious and aggressive with using it one to two times per day now i understand it wasn't that i, I had a lot of fat to, to lose i was getting rid of the toxins and the fluids we we heard from a one of our our teammates just yesterday if you want to tell her story about what she's been able to do in 17 days. When you sent me that testimonial, I was like, wow, blown away. So she's, um, so this, your friend Gabriella was uh, on intermittent fasting for 17 days. And she said, I lost 20 pounds in 17 days. My husband and I were just, just amazed at, I've never lost this much weight so fast. In 17 and in most of it again is water and um it's fluid she was helped she says the only thing i've been using doing different was using the device on my tissues and it the your body you're helping your look see this is the other thing we're helping a critical aspect of our health to do its job and so she's trying to lose weight through intermittent fasting intermittent fasting itself there's so many studies that when you <clears throat> slow when you don't introduce food into your system, you're actually helping your body uh, go into what we call autophagy, where it's cleaning out itself, its cells, all the bad cells, the things that don't need to be there, the body actually has its, a way to get rid of it. And then you do your lymphatic massage or stimulation, you're actually helping all the fluid release. So she's seeing the, the puffiness of her, um, her tissues go down back to normal. <laughs> so. Um, it's incredible uh, what micro, especially when you're using microcurrent therapy, because that's part of the, the profile of what it's doing. When you introduce microcurrent therapy, you're helping the, the body, the cellular turnover, you're helping the lymphatic release. You're doing, there's so many benefits that helps your body just 
be its best, you know, when you're trying to do, when you have goals like this. Yeah, I love seeing those results too. And I'm a walking testimonial as well. There's people like, I ran into my cousin the other day. She was like, what happened to you? And I hadn't seen her for just a couple months. And she's like, you dropped a lot of weight. My neighbor said the same thing. I'm like, yeah, 25 pounds. And, you know, part of it was just cutting out some extra sugars and crap foods that I really didn't need. But a lot of it, I have to say, was from the device of being able to properly detox my lymphatic system. Because I didn't understand, as an active woman in my late 40s, it just didn't add up mathematically. Like, I, I wasn't overeating. I was eating pretty, you know, healthy. But why is my stomach midsection area so puffy? And so this should, this should be, you know, good news for someone listening, even if you're in your 30s, even if you're in your 20s. So something to look forward to. Both men and women are empowered now if they have that bloat going on, it's not necessarily fat, right? If you're active, if you eat well, maybe it's because your body, your lymphatic system is not being properly detoxed and you've got that fluid and toxin buildup. And all you need to do and do all the different ways you can do it or quickly at home with a handheld device is to empower yourself, take control of your lymphatic system health and start to work on yourself and it, it, it happens really quickly. We've seen people, you know, only one or two treatments, right? Oh, even with one treatment, when they, they could see the difference between a puffed tissue and a depuffing of it. All we're doing is moving that fluid, uh, the tissue from a wet state to dry state. It's very simple. <laughs> it's, it doesn't take two, it's the most simplest thing we could do but it's the most powerful thing we can do for our body to feel better, to um, feel more energized, to not have those aches and pains and to, you know, regulate the body, you know, yeah. so it's, you know, for someone who is, you know, sick and tired of being sick and tired about how they feel, um, you know, it's one of the most simplest things they can do to start feeling better and relatively quickly. <laughs> Oh. quickly and inexpensively because a lot of people they, they'll, they'll go to get the lymphatic drainage which is great massage um go to you know med spas and i think that's all wonderful you know if someone has the time and the money because it does take time and money med spas can be quite expensive too and the upkeep that goes in if someone is busy they're a parent they've got little ones maybe they work multiple jobs they're like amy susanna I don't have the time to schedule and drive over here, there, wait, make more appointments, or I'm on a budget, which, you know, the last four and a half years, a lot of people have been on budgets. I get it. It's been an intense last four and a half years. And uh, what I love about this is so it's so empowering that it's, it's very inexpensive. You own it. And so you can control your own health and wellness and relief. That yeah. it, that basically, anyone can do it from their own home in 50 markets around the world. So if someone's hearing this and they're like, yeah, Amy, but I'm in, you know, Japan or I'm in Canada or Australia. Well, guess what? There's a very high likelihood that you have, you know, an open market and you, you can get access to this device as well. You know, I was just talking to somebody in Australia and um, it's a little more expensive because it's ex exported into that market. and his response right away it said it just it's not expensive compared to what we have to go through to get the same benefits that we have in a professional setting especially in Australia she said I have tennis elbow and tennis elbow is like um, where they have this puffiness there's a lot of fluid build up here and he was also very stiff he says I used that a few times and it went it's just nearly gone so the the price you know for what we've invested into our health the value is so much greater that it's not even it's nearly negligible <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah so it's you know people want relief and sometimes they're willing to pay for it you know if it's if it's holistic especially if it's holistic holistic natural right and uh, there are a lot of people out there that just like i want to invest in, so in myself my self-care with something that really works i know natural ingredients something that's good for me and uh they're they value themselves and that's truly what it comes down to they value themselves 
and their health and their bodies and how they're going to age moving forward. It's, it's, it's very exciting to me. Um, one more thing I wanted to touch on with you. There was uh, someone on our team that I just learned about. And so you had mentioned earlier that nutrient deficiency is also a cause for a sluggish lymphatic system. Is that right? Absolutely. And we, yeah. we look at the sad state, sad standard American diet of the US and we know how nutrient deficient, this is a fact the United States are. And it's, it's most people, sadly. And so this could be a cause right there why so many people are experiencing all those symptoms that you just listed and there's far more right that they have a sluggish and blocked lymphatic system because they're just not getting the right nutrients and then with all the poisons and everything too they're not you know able to detox that out so we see a lot of people just blowing up in their weight and their puffiness and um You'd mentioned like brain fog, get sick often, low energy, and those are just to name a few. So I, I want to talk, talk, touch on real quickly nutrients and how big a difference and even transformation that can make in someone's life really quickly. Because the story you told me about this uh, teammate, she was nutrient deficient among other things and experiencing weight gain, puffiness, she had really bad acne. Will you mind uh, sharing her story and her turnaround? Oh, yes, absolutely. And to the point of the Mary standard American diet, SAD, for a country that is so far advanced technologically, we have the most ill, chronically uh, overweight individuals. Even people that think that they're doing the right things are, are struggling to um, feel their best and do their best. Why is that? Now we have to look at, you know, our the where we get our food from, but the nutrition, the nutritional value of our fruits and vegetables, even organic, are completely different than where they were 40, 50 years ago because our soil is nutrient deficient. We need vitamin D, well, we can get it from the sun, but we are so deficient in nutrients. Um, we have uh, a test where we've tested tens of millions of people in America. And this test is a, a critical biomarker, which is an indicator to how deficient or efficient nutritionally that the body is. And the average American is in the low end of the spectrum, really severely deficient. And we have the, um, the result, the statistics that show that, um, which is alarming, alarming. Mm -hmm children have tested the same levels as a smoker does children so the children are starting out in life nutrient deficient they're going to go into late later life having these issues and this is why we have obese obesity and all these things so um so this uh, our friend uh kristen went on a journey she just decided she was sick and tired of being sick and tired she was, she was post-menopausal, overweight, having issues with her skin. She was severely acneed. And she went on um, a nutrient uh, program to supplement all the deficiencies. She had her blood work done before and blood work done after. Within five, six months, her blood work was off the chart. She said the doctor was looking very, <laughs> was like, wow, what are you doing? Keep doing what you're doing. Her blood was off the chart. Her skin clears up. She's lost 17 inches. She, of wow. course, she, she made some other lifestyle changes. She she upped her protein intake. She's going to the gym. She's doing weight training, which is super important for women uh, in that age to, you know, muscle build, build muscle, because muscle is the longevity organ. And, you know, you can just see the difference and her vitality is improved. She showed, She shared a story where, her and her 24 year old niece went on um, apartment hunting. And at the end of the day, she said, we were about eight hours in. She's so tired. And I was, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> need to go. So very proud of her. Um, but that just says it's never too late. 
it's never too late, no matter what age you are, to make changes and transformations because like the other topic we're talking about in uh, genomics or uh, epigenetics, we control how we age. We're going to chronologically age, but how we experience the future, those years, as we go into our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, it's in our control, how we experience that. Yeah, that's very empowering right there because a lot of people have the genetic predeterminism as a, an aging belief where we know that is false. Oh yeah, it's, I mean, me too, because I'm looking, you know, when you don't know what you don't know, you see your parents, your grandparents, how they um, experienced their latter years before they move, you know, transition. And you're thinking, oh my, you know, that could be me. You know, you plant that seed in your mind and you think, okay, so I'm gonna probably be in a wheelchair or whatnot. And science now says, absolutely not. <laughs> that is not the case. <laughs> absolutely not. You, we can make choices and be empowered to make choices now so that we can live our best lives going into, you know, our 50s, 60s, 70s. You know, it's like I've just turned 50. And the one thing that on my mind is like, okay, so here comes menopause and here comes all these things. But I've made a decision um, to you know, feed my body what it needs, do the things that I know will keep me strong and vital, you know, have vitality and energy and youthful yes. going forward. People say, well, you've got good genes. If I can get a quarter or a dollar for every time people said I have good genes, it's like, wow, I, I, I'd be a millionaire probably. But um, they, it, it's just making, conscious choices knowing what I know now about the biology of our, uh, our physiology and our mental state and aligning that together our body is an exquisite machine that can have and live a youthful longevity I look at these blue zones these blue zones all over the world there's you can study <clears throat> the population of those blue zones what they're doing socially what they believe in, how their physicalness, you know, how they do daily walks. It, you know, they, they grow their own food. I mean, there's just this beautiful, um, you know, holistic uh, lifestyle that they've created in these little blue zones and they live to be 90s, 100s easily, you know? Yeah. So one of my visions is like, wow, why can't we bring the blue zones to and multiply that, you know, you know across the world? It's true, and we are, it's a proven fact, we are living longer, people well into their hundreds and beyond. So the goal is not just to live longer, but to live better. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Because who wants to have decades of extra life if you're in assisted living or a rest home or a wheelchair? People want more than ever to have stamina and vitality and vigor all naturally. And to, to feel good, feeling good in their calm meat suit and feeling good in their skin and looking good too. And you you have some really great uh, before and after pictures of people, they're in their 70s and 80s and they look decades younger and they are fit and they just, they, they're still going for life. You told me one of my favorite quotes is to suck the marrow out of life, Henry David Thoreau. And I live my life that way and so do you. And I. I know in my heart, a lot of people desire that as well. The author of The Aging Myth, I have the book here because I love this book. This is the ultimate, this is the guy, he's the author, he's the um, the scientist, brilliant man. He's, he was the man that invented the rejection drug for transplanted, you know, for heart transplants. Brilliant. And he studied, um, you know, he led a team of scientists on the the study of epigenetics and he said look i want to live into my 80s and 90s full of vitality enjoy life and then one day lights out <laughs> that's kind of i want to see i don't want to live the last five ten years on a wheel with it you know sitting on a wheelchair i'd rather just be lights out before that ever happens so he's devoted his life and his work um you know around the study 
of youthful aging through epigenetic studies and empowering people is they look, we, our, our bodies, our cells are receptive and, and they can change. There's, they're not um, destined to be a specific way. They, we can change. I mean, every single year we have a whole new cell system. Mm -hmm. What we're doing now, the choices we make now, we'll see the fruits of it over the next six months, 12 months. Okay. So it can happen very quickly um, to have that kind of transformation. And we can literally see people reversing their ages. People who are now taking those steps now, nutritionally, um, you know, through lifestyle changes, diets, all those things, you could see them reverse their aging. They're like, they look different. They can reverse mm -hmm. five years, 10 years, 20. They go like, wow, you, what happened to you? <laughs> so we're going to see a lot more um, people doing that. Absolutely. It's changing the whole paradigm on what people think old age is. So 60, 70 is not going to be considered old anymore because people have reversed their epigenetic age, taking it back. And we'll see amazingly like fit, great skin, healthy people, eighties and nineties that look, you know, multiple decades younger and they have the vitality of that. And that's so exciting. I, um, we've done a recording, a really great recording on DNA is not your destiny. We go into the science of epigenetics with a lot of visuals, um, um, more intricately and more expansive. So if somebody wants to have that recording, we put it together. It's, it's really quite good. The layout of it and lots of bonus material and it's for free. Um, message us and we'll send you that link where you can watch that. Cause if, if you are getting it like, Whoa, I want to, I want to know more about how I can reverse my epigenetic age. And people are really excited about that. So reach out to us and you can learn more. And uh, how else can people um, reach you, Susanna, if they're interested in, in learning more and maybe getting in touch with you? They can email me at, um, I could put me, my email you know, below if you want, sferlanik at gmail.com. It's my first initial last name, very simple. Um, you can message me on uh, Facebook. I'm available there, Susanna Ferlanik. So that's how you can reach out. Great. And people can reach me to uh, my website, Adventures with Amy. That's A M I E dot com. Adventures with Amy at gmail dot com as well. And there's a contact form for people that are interested in learning more, but also getting a customized consultation solution for wellness, health, and beauty. Um, they're welcome to do that there through the contact form. And uh, I love helping people. I know you do too, Susanna. It's just we want to see our our fellow species, our fellow humanity live their best lives. And that means best lives, mind, body, spirit. It's the whole holistic package, truly. So I want to say thank you so much for joining the conversation today and all your, your amazing information and expertise. And thank you to our viewers. Once again, if you have any questions, if you'd like more information, reach out to us and we're happy to help. Thanks for having me again. It was a great, it's always fun to have this conversation. <laughs>